I'm not an editor, but hey. <laughs> Hi, Jeffa. Hi, Winnie. How are you doing? Great. I can't believe it. it's Tuesday. It's in the middle of September. It is September. Thanks for coming on the Mama Chang Show. Thanks for having me. Um, so you know what? Everybody wants to know, like, how did you get into child nutrition and what made you want to be a lunch lady? Well, you know, really, it's kind of crazy because I came into child nutrition from college dining. Ooh. And I was looking for a Monday through Friday eight-hour job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, because I was having a baby. Ooh. And so, Ooh. and I started um, as a field supervisor in uh, Oakland Unified. Yeah. And that was over 20 years ago. And then, really, I found my passion yes. um, because... I really didn't know much about school meal program at all. I went to a private school my whole life and we didn't have school meals. Oh, and you know, like every once in a while we would have school lunch and it would come from like Burger King or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So when I started working in Oakland, that's really when I found out about what school meals were all about. Yeah. And then it just really came to me how important the school meal program was for children and for mm -hmm. families. Mm -hmm. And then I really just fell in love with the work I do. Yeah. And I fell in love with the lunch ladies. Yes. And dudes yes. that do the work. And I, in particular, remember Laura Collier, who worked at Martin Luther King Elementary. Ooh. And that um, is in West Oakland. Mm -hmm. And I remember her saying, yeah, I come in early every Monday because I know my babies didn't eat over the weekend. Oh, boy. And when she told me that, and that was my first year. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. Look at my hair. And um, when she told me that, and that was my first year working, mm -hmm. I just, I couldn't believe it, you mm -hmm. know, and that's the reality. And so that's the work that we do yep. every single day is we make sure the babies eat. Yes. And exactly. we make sure that they're eating really good food. Yes, exactly. And so that's what I do. And that's what I've been doing for over 20 years. I mean, I, you know, it gets crazy. I've been all over the United States, all these kitchens, and there's wild stories I yeah. hear from everyone. And like kitchens almost burning down or drama between all yeah. the workers and like how do you help the team be like a team you know well i think number one all of our people come with their own lives yep. that they're dealing with every day exactly. right and so a lot of the of our employees are dealing with the same life mm -hmm. that our kids are dealing yep. with right exactly. but ultimately when they come to work they're coming for the kids yeah and so i think remembering that helps us to remember all of our employees remember that and get through the day, exactly. right? And so I think that's what we have to remember, number one, yeah. is that we're all human beings. We're family. We're family. Yeah. And um, ultimately, we're here for the kiddos. Exactly. And so we have to get, we have to leave our stuff at the door. Yeah. And that's hard sometimes. It is. And it's really hard right now. And yeah. so we have to give each other forgiveness and mm -hmm. we have to just give each other grace. Mm -hmm. And we're not always going to get it right. Nope. Nope. But... We're ultimately doing the best we can exactly. with what we have. Exactly. And so we have had kitchens burned down. Oh my you lord! You know that, that happened in Oakland. Yeah. And you know we have had electricity go out. Yeah. And we've had to create um, meal serving plans on how to deal with um, bad air quality. Yep. You know we've had to deal with meals um, during the orange sky. No. I mean, luckily we I have the there. beautiful sky mm -hmm. today. But these are all things that we just have to keep going through. Yeah. Um, and even during normal times, school food service is not a pretty job. No. But it's tough. a job that we all do because we're tough. Tough. And we're lunch ladies that yeah. run. Yeah. <laughs> and we have it because we're passionate about yes. making sure that the children we serve are getting the best possible meal every day. Exactly. So, like, I'm always curious, you know, with all the stuff that's always happening, and it's like we're always, like, you know, trying to woo -hoo -hoo, run around. Yeah. And, like, how do you, for yourself, when you get home, which is, like, late night, I'm sure, like, how do you, woo like, what are your yeah. things that you do for yourself to just, woo, wind it down? Well, I love to read. Oh, yeah. And so that's one of the things mm -hmm. I do. And then... I also love my doggies. Yeah. And so I yeah. love that and take them for walks and everything. And I love to cook. Oh, and so, I love it too. You know, I like to cook dinner and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. And then ultimately, I let it go. You know, you just, you have to let it go. You know what, Elsa, right? That's you know, a great song. wait, 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 wait. That, she, she's signaling me right there. Ready? Okay, ready? Let, let it go, go. Let, let it go. go. 
Just walk away and slam the door. There you go. Good yeah, job. let me see. You better. Yep, there. You're yeah. in the frame. <laughs> so, okay. So, like, and so you read, you play with the, yep. oh, your babies, your yep. doggies are so cute. And is there anything that, um, you know, you help the teammates to, you know, like, say, try this, try that, like anything else that's very special? Well, I don't know if it's special, but I really believe that you are here to do your job mm -hmm. when it's time to do your job. Yes. And then once you are done doing your job, mm -hmm. you have to turn it off. Yes. And so I think that whenever you are a leader, mm -hmm. you have to empower your people yeah. to turn it off. Yeah. And then if you are the kind of leader that is always demanding your people to be at your beck and call, oh, yeah. then that's not a good leader. No. If you are the kind of leader that is expecting your people to be on call 24-7, oh, yeah. to be responding to emails on a Sunday night no. or Friday at 5 p.m., you are not a good leader mm -hmm. and you are running down your people exactly and you're not going to get the best out of them mm -hmm. i don't think that's what you should be doing unfortunately that's what our society believes yeah. is a good person yeah. or a good leader or a good employee but ultimately our people every person needs to be able to have that time yes to be with themselves yes. to do the things that they need to do to exactly. calm down to remove themselves mm -hmm. and so I think that's I don't know that if it's unique or what but that's what I expect out of my boss to Good. be able to let me do and I want to give that to my employees exactly and I expect the people that I supervise to do that to the people that they supervise work life you gotta balance. have it work life balance as that's, much as you possibly can that's how you get everyone mind body spirit to be connected right yeah and so then they come back <coughs> feeling so refreshed yeah. and so like, let's get yeah. this, let's get those potatoes, let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Like so gung-ho. Yeah, I mean, and you can't do it all the time. No. I mean, like at the beginning of the school year, you can't always do that, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. you are answering emails on Sundays, yes. you are, yes. you know, working late. Yes. But, you know, when it's October and there's nothing going on, you have those ebbs and flows mm -hmm. of the school year and you have to take advantage of that. Yeah. You have to exactly. take your vacation. Exactly. You have to take your PTO. Yes. Um, and ultimately that's what you have to do to take care of yourself. I love it. And so I always like to ask this question. I should have brought my wand. I forgot my Harry Potter wand. If I gave you a magical yeah. wand that you can do anything yeah. for this world or child nutrition, yeah. what would you want to do? I would want universal meals. Yeah! Universal free you meals heard it for here. everybody. Universal feeding for everybody. Yes. Yes. That's what I would want. Yeah, the number one thing, right? Number it one makes thing. it easy. We feed everyone and everyone get that nutritional meal that's formulated yep. just for them. Yep. Those kiddos. And it's just it's like less paperwork. Well, it's number one, it makes school meals is the only thing in the entire school system that you get dictated to you I mean you get based on your income yeah right you can be a millionaire and you get school books for free yeah you get free pencils yep. you get free um, sports uniforms yep. but you have to fill out a piece of paper to get a basic need thank you so you know you look like Maslow's hierarchy of need food is at the bottom oh. and hi Maslow hierarchy of need talks about what you need to be a self-actualized person mm -hmm. to contribute to society exactly so I don't know why this country continues to struggle with giving children our most vulnerable members of our country exactly. the basic need of food exactly. and so we can talk all day about well we're giving them a free education if you cannot be, have your basic needs taken care of you cannot be present for that education so let's get rid of the paperwork. Yeah. Let's get rid of the stigma. Exactly. Let's make sure that we're providing meals to all of our children. Yes. And then ultimately it goes to benefit farmers. Yes. It goes to benefit people in your industry. When yeah. You know, right? um, it benefits business. And so then we can do more for what the intention of the National School Lunch Act was. Yeah. Which was to take care of children, to take care of farmers to take care of companies, right? Exactly. Way back in 1946. Yes. So we have a lot more that we can do with the school meal program. I think universal meals is the way to do it. It is. The circle of life. Come on. Look at you. You need to go to I'm Disneyland. I'm waiting for her. 
to just be like, Angelina. I'm not going there. Maybe we can say that. We are going to do another one where me and you do karaoke okay. for everyone. I can okay. do that. So, like, at, at all of this, with this whole everything, like, what else do you want to tell people, like, the guardians, the parents, the, anybody who takes care of, uh, you know, anybody under 18 that, like, how to support child nutrition? But how can we make it better? Well, I think the biggest thing is to participate in the meal program. Participate. Uh, you know, it's it's not what you remember it used to be. It's changed a lot. Um, so many of the meals that are being served in the school meal program, even today, even with the COVID response, are being freshly prepared. Yep. Um, and then the more people that participate, the better the program becomes. Exactly. And so it's it's um, one of those self fulfilling prophecies, yes. right? I mean, it's the more you more um, if you build it, they will come. Yes. Type of thing. Um, we can do lots of movie quotes too. Yeah, we should. Uh, but um, really, it's it's not for disadvantaged children. It's not for the free and reduced child. Right. It's for every single child. Everybody. And we want everybody to come and participate with us. The more people that participate, the more revenue that's brought into the meal program. Yep. And now it's not just about money, but when yep. we bring money in, we're able to invest it into the meal program make better meals, mm -hmm. make better jobs. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the people that work for the meal program are parents of the children that go to the school. Exactly. And we want to have better jobs for these folks. Um, and then ultimately, a lot of the meal programs do get supported by the general fund because mm -hmm. the national school lunch program funding mm -hmm. that we get is not enough. So if we have more people participating, that means we can have more funds coming in from the federal government yeah. and then hopefully less money coming from the general fund. Exactly. And then more of that money can go into classrooms. So yeah. it really is helpful overall. It goes, it's a beautiful cycle, you yep. see? So it's just, go, now in San Francisco Unified, we get to pick up lunches every... Yeah, uh, every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. You get five days worth of breakfast, lunch, and supper. What? Yes. All of it. Look at that. Sites. Holy smokes! Yep. So yeah, that's a lot. And all those workers, they're, you know, very vigilant. They've already been trained so much about how to keep clean, how to disinfect, how to do this. Yep. It's, it's our life. It's our normal life. But now you guys are learning how to be like us in your own homes, right? Hand washing is key. It is. And yep. just don't touch, you know, the open hole. <laughs> open hole. See that? You can't get in here, COVID. Yep. Glasses, you know, <laughs> exactly. we're, we're providing, uh, we have hand washing has always been key yep. for food safety. And now it's um, part of our COVID protocols mm -hmm. as well. And then we also have PPE provided. We have masks, we have uh, plastic aprons, yes. we have gloves, which were always available exactly. for food safety. Yeah. So a lot of the practices that we've always been doing for food safety are yeah. becoming part of our COVID protocols. Yeah. So That's yeah. great. I mean, yeah. is there anything else you want to say to anything, like about anything? About anything. I, you know, we could go on forever. I know. We, stuff, me and John can go on and on and, and really tell you the ins and outs, but that's the basics. And we want to keep it so light and fresh because it's all about just supporting each other. Yeah. And the sisterhood, I know you boys out there, the lunch lads of America, I don't want them to think we forgot about them because yeah, kids are rock stars, don't worry. But we all know who started this. We all know who runs the program, it's the girls. And so don't don't get mad because, you know, I love my lunch men and they should support us and be like, I'm a lunch lady too. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah, thank you, Jennifer. Yes,